All right then, we're off to the lab. Yep, here we go. But first, grab the eagle medal. <coughs> here we are. And of course, ignoring that file because I already read it as Claire. And of course, there's, there will be a file we can read uh, when we get to the lab. If that's unique to the B scenario. I guess you could say in order to grab every file in the game, you should play the canon storyline, Claire A. Leon B. Since Claire does have that one unique file in her A scenario that details how to create the G vaccine. Mm. You can't get it anywhere else. Okay. And once we get down here, obviously there'll be zombies. Just gotta get past them. Mm. Excuse me. Bye bye. All right. All right, nurse, coming through. Hey, Chris. For some reason, they don't bite. They actually end up barfing for some reason. Ugh. Mm. Uh, run. Yeah, I just I really really don't like spiders. I'm not I'm not an arachnophobe. I'm just saying I just, don't, I just don't like spiders in general. I hear you, man. I got no problem with spiders, but if they come into the house, they're gonna die. Mm -hmm. That being said, I think a certain someone I know is afraid of spiders. Definitely afraid, in fact. Maybe not definitely afraid, but just really uh, gets uneasy when it regards to spiders. He's a person we we both know, in fact. Oh, cool. Um, Rosie, actually. She figures. She hates spiders. Given the things that live in her home country, I don't blame her. Mm-hmm. Oh, in also fact, she lives in the same. She lives on the same continent as the one species of spider in the world that will bite you till you die. And, and of course. Um, understandably, she despises needles. She has, she, if I recall, she told me she had to be held down once just so they could stick a needle in her arm. <laughs> I mean, seriously, she gets extremely squeamish. Uh, I, don't I, don't, it, I don't blame her. Tell her it's best to not look at it. <laughs> well, yeah, but yeah, but there's also the fact that it's, she'd still be feeling it. Uh. Anywho. Ah! Hi! Bam! Go away, Billy! Nice shot. Uh, well. Ah, stop carrying holes in my sky trap! Seriously, stupid jerk! And, ugh! Talk about your extreme manicures. Eh. Just, ugh. I just say, William did not like that. You know, I still say it's an impressive shot being able to uh, shoot off one of its uh, nails. Hmm. All right then. Uh, before we go any further, gotta grab the key over here. Oh yeah, obviously this whole, this whole bit right here at the Martian Yard is the one place we don't get to play in Darkseid Chronicles. Meh, wouldn't even matter anyways, only like two, three areas or so. Like two corridors, the Skycham entrance, the Skycham place, uh, and then of course it's the factory. Uh, oh, hi! Oh, Ooh, a double. double kill! I'm glad I take a double, maybe I'll take a triple too! No, no. Oh dear. Shotgun pots. Oh, this is gonna be good. Yep. Yeah, I think we're, if I, I think we're gonna do my shotgun, and then I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna be able to handle triples. That makes that makes I haven't even gone to Burger King in a long time. <laughs> uh. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Nice! Bye-bye. 
Not quite a triple though. Uh, well, that. Go. Um, <laughs> don't. Not about water. Not about wasting a shell on you. It's time to go up this ladder. I think my, uh, yeah, my first little best of Leon, by the way, is 152.06 on Scenario B. We finally arrived. There must be something hidden here. Shouldn't you be saying that when we actually get to the lab? Meh. Alrighty then. Well, as she uh, examines that, we can uh, examine the item box as well as grab the ammo around here. In here, there's, of course, there's a first aid spray if you actually are in desperate need of one at this point. Only use it if you suck. <laughs> and there's all shotgun shells and magnum bullets here, too. Here we go. Custom shotgun. <laughs> oh, fun. Mm -hmm. I wonder how it upgrades it. Uh, wait, what? I wonder how the shotgun is upgraded. Oh, and like I said before, lar big, bigger firepower, bigger recoil, two more shells in at the capacity. Overall, it's a beast. So it uses more powerful shells. No, it, no, no, just that it, 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 the, the shots are more concentrated. Uh. It still takes the standard 12 gauge shells. So it probably goes from standard seven pellets to maybe uh, four o buckshot, possibly, because that's more concentrated and it hits harder. Oh, uh, actually Hello? no, no, it's still it's still uh, scatter shots. It's still it's still scatter shot. Hi there. Oh, I hate cameras. I'm camera shy. <laughs> Crack. Gee. Apparently you did not like that one time it came to the camera. Maybe it's a Magnum shotgun now. <laughs> they well, do actually make those. Well, I guess it, I guess it can be, in terms of strength, it can be equated to one, I guess. Four shots. And shotgun shells. And we teabag him for good measure. Uh, I hate first person shooters. Yeah, I, so do I. I can never really get into them nowadays. I all. liked Halo, I did, but more for the crazy weapons and the cool storyline than the actual first-person shooter action. And there were so many mini-game modes in online multiplayer. No, I'm not, 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 not singling out Halo, I'm just saying FPSs in no, general. I know, in I know. general. I know. I was pointing out the one FPS series that I do like. Of course, if you want to <laughs> point out everything that's wrong with the FPS genre, you can't, you can't, you you go no further than Call of Duty. Oh, amen, brother, amen. Cause seriously, even my brother and cousins are slightly obsessed with that. EA is going to destroy the FPS genre with its shovelware. Let's go. I'm I'm calling it. <laughs> Oh, well, this leaves room for people to actually reinvent it somehow. Well, and do, on and the do, plus and, side, and do it and do it right. On the plus side, EA has lost their contract with the N uh, with the NFL. Ooh. <laughs> so Ooh. now we're gonna Finally. see Madden clones out the wazoo. What does it matter? Finally, get into it! Yay! It's about damn time. Anybody can make a football game now, supposedly. Probably. Into the belly of the beast. Once again. Into the bowels. But well, before we go to the lab, we obviously have, we obviously have a boss fight. Um. Hi! Surprise! Ouch. Ada. Ada. Right in the freaking side. Come on, snap out of it. Probably got her neck, probably got her slightly on the side of her neck, too. Where it was, it was a nasty injury. Alright, let's go, some, let's go some Desert Eagle action. Well, if it was the side of the neck, she'd be spraying blood everywhere. Mm, well, unless it was, well, okay, there's that. But it's all, well, it could have also scraped against her neck as well. The side of her neck, even. Because if it was at the throat, then she'd be a goner. 
Uh, hi. Third form, G. <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. You like? I hate! <laughs> Go away! Yep, once again, this is the motif of this game. Mutation. Yep, this is the second mutation of G. Do, 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 do. Go away, please. Ugh. Way too many eyes. Hooray! He'll be back. Obviously, at this point, he's uh, probably going after Annette right now. At least tracking her down or whatever. Actually, no. Well, well, whatever the case, he's gone for now. Motor stopped in the process of overheating. And of course, there's no way you can go through a survival. Well, there's no way you can go through a survival situation and not end up forming a bond between yourself and your partner. You know. Hmm. Hey. Considering, hey, he's, 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 considering you're literally going through hell together. Lab. I'll go mm. find something to treat that wound. So just rest here in the meantime. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Mm. Go. Yeah, at this point, she'd be a burden. Is it just me, or does everybody always ignore what I say? <laughs> I told you, it's my job to look after you. But you'll be in danger if you stay. Especially with me. that pendant. I know I've only known you for a short period of time. But I really enjoy So I guess in her way, she wants to protect him. I... That is also the fact that she actually fallen I'm for him. Capable of caring about anyone. I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here. For Famous me. last words, Leon, because whenever someone says that, they almost never do. Yeah, that's one of the death. That's one of the infamous death flag phrases in gaming. We're gonna get out of this together. Cue one of them dying, or both of them dying, or none of them dying, and yet there's a third person dying. Because either way, someone loses. Mm. And dynamic entry! John McLean would be proud. Huh? Wait, what? John McLean would be proud. Die hard! Okay. And there it goes without us. Well, I think I finally finished uh, venting. Did the overheating. What? You're right, because if you never saw a Die Hard in your life. Oh, I saw the original, and I saw that latest one where he freaking used a truck to take out an F-15. Uh, well, uh, that was actually the fourth one. There was, there was actually a fifth Die Hard. Did you know that? Huh. Yeah, you took out a thing with a car! And in the trailer, he goes, I was out of bullets. <laughs> That's the one! No, 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 that was Live Free or Die Hard. I was talking about, there's also uh, a good day to Die Hard. I'm not sure. I didn't saw. I did not see a good day to die hard. Yeah, this, this, this uh, bit right here trips me up. So, so it does. I end up leaving and having to reset it. Yes, yeah, it's, it, it's really annoying. I'll do the perspective. Ah, uh, uh, that's what screwed me over. I hate when that happens. I hate when it happens due to perspective. Nope, but can't. Go the other side for some stupid reason. Nope. It's stuck. Yep, it's stuck. What's up? Gotta leave. Mm. Seriously, if there's one point in uh, this game that would slow you down, it's this. Fortunately, it's the last one of its kind in the game. And the, come on. There we go. So yeah, pretty much, uh, we're in a, we're a level slightly above the uh, the actual laboratory itself. We're, we're us in the power room area. And of course, to get uh to get uh, below, we need to get the elevator started. 
Because obviously in Claire A, or just scenario A altogether, we couldn't use the elevator. Push, 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 push. There. That was push it against the railing. Whatever works. Seriously. There, yeah, seriously, there, there are, of course, only a few times I actually hate uh, block puzzles. This is one of them. This is one of those times. Alright then. There we go, now we're making progress. Wait a minute, wait, I say that as if we haven't been making progress throughout the entire game. <laughs> No, I'm just thinking with regards to this, we're finally making progress. Mm. There we go. Albeit, uh, realistic, realistically speaking, Leon could probably just pull himself up on that, but then again, game mechanics. Yeah. Well, then I guess I could partly justify it, considering he does, he's still suffering from that bullet wound. Game mechanics be damned. Because there's only, there's only like a handful of instances where uh, uh, actual injury actually registers in terms of gameplay. Oh yeah, the Epsilon gas, if you actually used it in that one room in the lab, I mean, for, for incapacitating BOWs. Mm. But there's also potential for negative side effects. That uh, some BOWs can actually absorb the gas. Oops. The ivies in particular. Yeah, the obviously the IVs would mutate if uh, you activ if you activate the P epsilon gas in scenario A. So thus, don't fall for it. It's schmuck bait. Mm hmm. Okay then. Secondary D room security team. Gotcha. And of course, uh, if you actually uh, if you actually go into that one room or just. If you actually went to the moth room as Claire, or just it's there you know, all together, uh, you actually managed to get the whole fingerprint thing working. If you used uh, the scenario A character to input their fingerprint into the console in that one door we didn't open yet, you can do it now in this scenario. But of course, it needs roughly like, three or four liquors and a submachine gun. That's about it. But it does have a very, Whoa. it does have a unique uh, uh, track associated with that room. Boom. Goodbye, Death Lickers. No, it does have a unique music track uh, associated with that room. Wreckage of the Mad Experiment. And speaking of music, uh, in the soundtrack for Resident Evil 2, there actually is an actual medley in the actual soundtrack, which consists, of course, of tracks we've heard throughout the game. And in, the, in an orchestra album, it's even fully orchestrated. Mm. If I recall from memory, uh, one of the tracks is, of course, uh, a pipe organ solo of The Night Begins from RE1, uh, the, the ending theme in terms of the Japanese version of RE1, which with, with, with elements of the save room theme. Uh, then there was uh, the, the opening theme of Resident Evil 2. Then there was the Ultimate Bioweapon Medley, like I said. The save room theme from RE2. Uh, I think it's five tracks I've named. Uh, uh, what else was there? Oh yeah, the actual um, scenario B ending theme, but not not the actual credits theme, but the little music you hear when you in the final cutscene of the B scenario. Then there's also the opening theme, the opening cutscene theme of Resident Evil 3, and a reprise of that, preceded by the save room theme of RE3. Maybe I'm missing a few tracks. Uh, hi. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> and then there's also, uh. I'm trying to think where it is. Oh, oh, right. There was also, uh. A, a, one track in the the, uh, the album that I'd never heard before. In, in, in either, uh, either of the three games. Seriously, it's a track I'd never heard before. Oh, and there's also a range of, uh. The. What is the. The first part of Raccoon City in Resident Evil 3. Let's see, what else was there? 
Oh yeah, of course, there's also this, the actual scenario B ending theme in Resident Evil 2. There's also that. Uh, and, oh, right, there was one other track I was missing. The track that was that's used for the fourth Survivor, which is, of course, Hunk's mini game. <coughs> Anyway, here we go again. Yeah, I almost forgot about uh, Fearful's no word for it. Yeah, it is what the track is called. Because, obviously, Hunk has that minigame. There we go. And now we have the main fuse. We're done here. Yep. And of course, I think f whatever enemies are left, I'm just going to use my shotgun and then I'll switch to my magnum. Because, actually, to be frank, with regards to the, the fingerprint thing that's actually right behind that shutter over there, um, the submachine gun won't even be that useful considering you only have, like, the final bosses to deal with. Right. Yeah. Here we go. Bonk. Alrighty. Now then, I think what's left is... What else? Oh, wait. There's nothing else we can do. We can just, uh... Go this way. Here's Ivy's again. And of course, if you, if you use the P-Epsilon gas earlier, then they would be much more red. Yep. Yeah, from what you know, the Magnum does not have like one-hit kills this time around. Huh. These Ivies are rather resilient. Ah! Yeah. Ah, get off, get off, get off, get off! You've been pollinated. He's fine. He's fine. Mercifully. So, uh, yeah, apparently the Magnum is not as strong as it once was. Because saying those Ivies were able to take roughly, what, two or to three Magnum shots? Unupgraded, that is. <sighs> anyway, let's, let's keep going. Oh, hi! Yeah, yeah whatever. Okay, where are you? Uh, stupid thing. Come on, get closer. I see ya. Come on, get closer. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> okay, there we go. Heal up. Uh, let's see, I'll grab one herb because there's, of course, one last red herb outside the P4 level experiment room. I decided to go this way to grab a, a new key. A key that has not been used yet. Wait, C2 hanger? I know it's on the, above the door. C2 hanger. A hanger to what? <laughs> anyway. Yep. Yeah, what are they keeping down here? Uh, bioweapons. What else? I mean, aside from that, what would they have a hanger for? Unless if it was for one of the trams. Who knows? Oh yeah, in the novel, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but uh, Leon's weapon of choice is the Desert Eagle. It was actually a, it was a custom job given to him as a graduation gift. Nice. And of course, it's his primary weapon, not a, not a pistol. The pistol goes to, to Claire, actually. And, and, and that gun and the one she finds in the squad car are her only weapons up until uh, near the end. And she even runs out of ammo. Here we go. Speaking of weapons, Magnum Pots! Well, you know, it's not Magnum Parts this time. I fixed it. Oh, and I accidentally reloaded. Oh, well. Well, I'll just empty out what's in my gun. It doesn't matter, I got plenty of shots. For what's left. Boom. Boom. Naked there. zombies are. 
Yeah, they're strong. Very mutated by the T virus to the point where uh, they've been they've been walking around for a while and they're tougher. We more or less but... already mentioned. We've already already mentioned that. Mm. So again, it's what happens if you haven't been recording for like a month or so. Or... Is it me or does that key look like it's two other keys mashed together? Heaven forbid. Well, that being said, uh, that being said, it's just. Actually, it's, it's actually the key for Resio 1 that was used for the power area, and we know it serves the exact same purpose. Mm. Albeit, seriously, heaven forbid that we actually have a scenario where you actually had to combine two keys into one. Well, there is something similar that happens in Resio 3, but that's as far as... Actually, it's not exactly two keys, it's just so you gotta insert into a key to make it a more complete key. I'll be that in itself can be the same principle. Hmm. Oh, goodbye. So yeah, now we have the custom magnum. Custom magnum, of course, everything you know about the magnum except better. Much more firepower, a lot more recoil, and yeah, magnum. Enough said. <laughs> except uh, that was. Except there's, of course, this huge plant thing. The thing is huge. It must be their leader. It looks harmless. Which is oddly what Leon says in Dark Side Chronicles when he see that plant thing. And I'm not joking. He actually says that. It must be, it it must must be their leader. <laughs> yes! <laughs> really? Yeah! I remember that line. I was like... How lame can you get, man? I don't know. Anywho, right? Well, uh, and apparently in the ground it said Umbrella Laboratory. Gee, like we couldn't tell. Although I have yet to see um, any logos of the Umbrella of the Umbrella Corporation. Probably because they didn't want to have the lab fully associated with them. Probably. See you in part ten.